Planning your day, we're going to be in the 30s this afternoon. Woohoo! 30 at noon, 35 by 4, so looking pretty good. Generally dry through 4 o'clock as well. Now here's the model, all peaceful and clear and quiet this morning. By noon, partly cloudy, you start to see the first little finger of snow reaching toward Ohio. As we get later into the afternoon and evening, you see an area of snow off to the north. Still relatively quiet here, although I think by 5 or 6 o'clock, we've got a chance for a little snow to be starting up here as well. Now here's where it gets interesting, at least according to the model. After this, you see kind of a band. Uh, this is where you get into a mix of freezing rain and snow. And this is what most of the models now are saying isn't going to happen. So snow to the north, a mix here and rain to the south. If you get any of this freezing rain or sleet, that will totally eat into that snowfall total. So that'll be one of the issues we'll be watching tonight. After we go into the early morning hours, the model doesn't really keep us in a prolonged period of snow, which most of the other models do. So again, a little bit of uncertainty here. Some snow off to the west in the morning. This will continue at least through mid morning before it tapers off. And that's why we see even through noon the potential for a little snow lingering there. But that may be just a little bit behind. Most of this should be early over fairly early in the day. So we go from the 30s today to the 20s tomorrow and again some heavy snow overnight tonight. Thursday morning, we're back in the single digits with a high in the teens. So obviously it's another cold front working its way through Friday, even lower in the single digits, a morning low near three and a high of 22 Saturday and Sunday also bring a chance for a couple of snow showers and uh, fairly chilly temperatures for the season. So some real ups and downs here over the next couple of days.